There's a woman from Norway named Karina who can fly. Well, almost. She is a base jumper. That's a recreational sport where people jump from fixed objects with a parachute. Base stands for four categories of fixed objects you can jump from. Those are buildings, antennae, which refers to radio masts and towers, spans, which are actually bridges, and earth, which means cliffs. You have to admit, leaping off cliffs to earn a living does sound cool. Karina wears something known as a wingsuit. We're talking about a full-length jumpsuit that has additional fabric under the arms and between the legs. That way, base jumpers can experience the feeling of flying. Even if it's just a few seconds before they have to deploy their parachute when they see it's time to slow down their fall. Karina has made over 400 jumps already, which seems like a lot of seconds of flying and feeling like a superhero with superpowers. Some people can fold their tongues, and some can wiggle their ears. And some, it seems, can dilate and constrict their pupils whenever they want. No one thought it was possible to enlarge and shrink pupils by directly controlling them as if they were muscles. That is, until one student from Germany, known by the initials DW, showed how he changes the size of his pupils on demand. He actually said he has been showing a friend how he could tremble his eyeballs. And the friend then noticed his pupils had become smaller. DW realized he had such a cool ability after playing computer games for long periods of time. He said that constricting the pupil felt a bit as if you were gripping or tensing something. At the same time, when you want to make your pupils bigger, it feels as if you're relaxing your eye. This sounds like something I could try before I go to sleep tonight. And what's even more awesome is that he said he could actually feel the muscles in his pupils. A man named Daniel is blind, but he can still see. He doesn't see with his eyes, but he's managed to tune his hearing so finely that he can ride his bike even through heavy traffic. He can do many other things too. For example, go camping alone, dance, and climb trees. His superpower is something we call echolocation. To orient himself, Daniel clicks his tongue. The sounds he makes bounce off the objects surrounding him. Echolocation is the very technique dolphins, bats, and beluga whales use to orient themselves and navigate their surrounding. Daniel has gotten so good at getting around using his superpower that even other blind people hire him to help them get around. Stephen is a British artist with an awesome photographic memory. He memorized and later drew Rome, Tokyo, Dubai, Hong Kong, and New York City skylines. All it took him to draw so many sophisticated and insanely accurate details of these places was a single helicopter ride over each city. When he was working on the panoramic picture of Rome, he drew the exact number of columns of the Pantheon. You know how some of your early memories sometimes feel so vivid? Imagine you could recall your whole life with the same intensity. A woman from Australia can remember literally every minute of every day. And it's not like she remembers blurry details, wondering if that even happened. She remembers everything, down to the finest detail. You can just tell her a random date, and you'll hear what that day in her life looked like, since her brain is not able to forget anything. There's a man who simply doesn't stop running. Men's fitness gave him the title of one of the fittest men on the planet. He's a true superhero, considering his stamina. He has submitted himself to some of the most mentally and physically challenging athletic tests you can only imagine. For example, he has managed to complete a 350-mile run. Impressive? Well, here's something even better. He didn't stop once, not even to sleep. There's also his sweltering sprint through the insane heat of Death Valley. Imagine running outside at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. One of his achievements is a marathon to the South Pole. The temperatures there can drop to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This real-life Forrest Gump, but with better stamina, has built quite an impressive running resume. But he still looks for new ways to challenge his body and mind. For instance, 
This super runner has recently finished 50 marathons. It was one in each state, and it took him 50 days in a row to do that. You may have heard of Wim Hof, a Dutch motivational speaker who is able to withstand extremely low temperatures. He uses a special meditation technique to keep the temperature of his body steady while enduring freezing conditions. He's even earned the adequate nickname for that, Iceman. Hoff has completed a couple of marathons and climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in extremely low temperatures, and all he wore was a pair of shorts. He has set 20 world records when it comes to cold endurance. That includes the record for the longest ice bath, 1 hour, 13 minutes and 48 seconds. Brr, I'm freezing just talking about it. Let me grab my blanket before I move on. This 54-year-old man is called the French Spider-Man. He's famous for his urban climbing feats. It seems so easy when you're watching him scale multi-story buildings in broad daylight. He doesn't carry any safety equipment that can keep him from falling. But even without all that, he still climbs hundreds of feet into the sky. He's visited some famous spots and climbed the Empire State Building, the Eiffel Tower, the Canada Square Tower, the Four Seasons Hotel in Hong Kong, and the Patronus Towers in Malaysia. Urban climbing is not illegal, but he has been arrested more than 100 times for causing public disturbances. Wow, still a superpower, but I'd personally skip on this one. Next. A couple of years ago, a story about a man who could survive without water and food traveled around the world. He claimed that he hadn't eaten since 1940. Researchers were very curious about this case, so they placed him in a room for 10 days to observe him. But the mystery remained unsolved because he went out of that room perfectly healthy, even though they didn't give him any water or food. This man from Malaysia is some sort of tooth king. He has pulled a seven-car train using a steel rope, but he didn't use his arms. One end of the rope was tied to the train, whereas the other one was between his teeth. This man holds a Guinness record for this amazing ability no one can really explain. The toothpaste commercial should definitely hire him. How about a lion whisperer? Imagine speaking to the king of the jungle and being able to befriend this wild animal. It sounds like a real superpower. But one man can actually tame and speak to these big cats without any particular effort. No matter whether we're talking about a scary lion or a ferocious cheetah, he becomes friends with them and then makes them dance to his tunes. His superpower quickly turned him into a hero among wildlife enthusiasts. It's time to meet Daniel the Rubber Boy. Daniel is, as far as we know, the most flexible man in the world. He can roll up like a ball, and this helped him become a five-time Guinness record holder. When you see him showing his special skills, you can't help but wonder where the bones in his body go when he's bending like this. He discovered his talent at an early age. He would just jump off the top bunk bed and, to the amazement of his family members, land in a straddle split. But his career began years later when he started performing in the streets. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.